Oh, here we go. A uh, quick update on the channel. Uh, what are we here? December 7th. So days are moving on here. We are moving January 28th at the latest. So update is the moving lady was just here to take inventory. And it looks like she figures the move is going to be, you know, nothing difficult. We're not taking that much stuff. So we're a little, probably below average of moving things. So that's good. Keep the cost down and the weight down. And so that part is done. So it's pretty official. We have bought and this place is sold for sure. All the documents have been signed and deposits and all that jazz. So our main concern is the snow. We've got about 50 or 60 days of winter conditions before we actually get out of here. So if that driveway is messed up, we're gonna have some issues. So will that moving truck. If it can't make it up, we'll have to use uh, the Jeep with the trailer and just off-road everything up somehow to the, to the house. Not looking forward to that scenario. So hopefully the truck will make it up and make unloading reasonable. But yeah, I do expect winter conditions. So that's about it. Little update. I'm gonna start packing the things in the garage. Maybe put a few things in the Jeep. The garage things are gonna be the most difficult to pack. The rest of this place is pretty straightforward. The aircraft. The drone's easy, but the, there's some large airplanes down there with the, that are like eight feet long. Very fragile, so there's a few of those to deal with. Okay, and we'll update as time goes on. The biggest challenge the move is going to be the garage. Of course, we got the Jeep in here. It hasn't been used in months, but it's gonna be full-time use once we move. This is gonna be a perfect rig for out there. Um, gonna get a trailer for it too, so. Um, so these are some of the smaller aircraft, but very fragile. Another one on top of the Jeep. Just a mid-sized one, 50 inch span, 58 or something. Uh, BMW 540, definitely uh, hanging on to it. Was up for sale, you know, but it's an awesome car, V8. It's a nice mid-sized sedan, V8 car. Um, horsepower a little bit underrated on this. Goes like stink. Uh, here's a larger aircraft, so these are going to be a bit of a problem. This one here is a four horsepower machine. This is a Cessna 310. This is a twin engine. Down here, the German built extra 300. This one here is a six horsepower machine. These are going to be a bit of a challenge uh, down here. Another, another large one. <clears throat> Oh, and there's Monica. With I got some whiskey. Right on. Want a box for each of us? Yeah. Oops. Well, let's get started. Get the Christmas spirit. I'm just going through how we're going to pack all this. How are you going to pack all this? So most of the things will be fairly straightforward. Except for the fly fragile big planes. There's some more little ones. Home built. This little... Decathlon here. Jason Braun. You know what a decathlon is. This is a mini version of it. Scratch built. Let's put this thing over here for now. Almost done. Extremely fragile. That stuff, I want to move it all. It doesn't even come apart. Many of you know Skittles. This is the drone that's been conquering all the mountains around here. Home built. That's it for the size of it. Usually has a session five GoPro up front that records the YouTube stuff. So yeah, Skittles is almost famous. And that's not the only one. We know that. They're all hidden here. I don't even know what the hell this one is. This one is actually, this one's been the 
one of my favorite five inchers. Here is Skittle's brother, Chucky. Super fast, 100 mile an hour drone. No problem. What do we got here? This is an Armaton. Not the chameleon, the chameleon's over here. That's right. Got the name of this one already. There's some missing here. I know there's some more. Here we have the SRD6 a GPS drone. Oh, here we go. This one's a little ripper. Again, 100 mile an hour drone, easy. Missing a few. Not missing, they're just hiding. So much stuff. So yeah, this table is gonna be the main problem. This is a lot of little fragile stuff. Oh shit. That one I don't think I'll take. Anybody wants it? It's free. Uh got a couple foamies. The white one is a long distance uh, surveillance mountain machine. Here comes Monica again. <laughs> I thought you were done. I hope I was. And we got another one here. And another one there. And a helicopter. All right. And some of this. Let's start packing. This is going to be the fun part. Ready? No. Me neither. December 21 to 21st. So... I'll have insurance for the Jeep. So it's coming out of the garage because uh, we are going to hook up a utility trailer. We're going to buy one today. Or at least attempt to. I just have to get uh, a little bit of wiring put in and put it all just uh, hook up to the trailer. It's going to be a five by eight utility with high side steel. Apparently we just bought a trailer. That took all about three minutes. <laughs> it was actually pleasant. Uh, it was a pleasant purchasing experience. Uh, no discount, so these are cash and carry prices. The trailer is in behind this aluminum one. And we're just gonna get some insurance and uh, go get the Jeep. It's over getting some wiring installed. And we're done. This all might take less than an hour. Here's the trailer. Five by eight, all steel, solid sides with a tailgate. So this will uh, hold quite a bit of stuff. And it's going to hold the large aircraft too, so I think I'll leave them at the coast at work and I'll just do a trip down so I can get everything in here. So, we need to get about a 6 inch drop because the Jeep is a little bit tall. So we'll do that now. There he is. That should do it. I already had a pin in there, you know. All right, we've got, yeah, we're all good. That's it, we're good to roll. So that was all pretty uh, straightforward. We could drop it down a bit more, but uh, with some weight in it, that's gonna level out. We're at the landfill. Just dropped off a small load and off to Home Depot. That's our date today. So we got rid of everything that doesn't go with us. And that's it. Where are you going? Why are you going to look at these? I'm going to make my own. I don't want to see how much they are. <laughs> well, those ones are eight bucks each without the spicy thing. Okay. Home Depot. Yeah. That mall. Just with our lock, the aisle we need to go in is closed. Like, come on, really? Well, screw that. Ah, apparently. This is what I'll be getting for uh, well, oh. Christmas. Because I gotta chop some wood.
Alrighty. That's nice. <clears throat> what do you think? This should do it. So this is, a, I think it's an eight pounder. Yep. That should do it. Definitely has a, you can't even lift that, can you? Of course I can lift it. All right. I don't feel very confident chopping wood with it. Oh my god, I work with the arms. Chopping wood. Yeah. So we keep in shape. Who needs Taibo with that? Alright. You know you move to the country when? You don't get an axe. You get a ball. Yeah. Axes are for kids. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna need one of these. Uh, we'll get a wood splitter eventually, I guess, but uh, for now it's gonna be a good old bustle to get wood for the stove. Alright, cool. Got a couple more essentials. A sharpening stone. Honing oil. This is my camping axe I use in the Jeep. But it's kind of gnarly. So I'll give that a shot. There's quite a few uh, problem spots on this, especially here. It's almost rounded off, so. I'm going to have to do a, a, a grind on it, and then it'll sharpen up. But the parts that were in good shape, they've got a pretty good edge. Well, I just walked in Reno here this afternoon. This trail used to be super quiet. Sometimes I wouldn't see anybody. Quite often I wouldn't see anybody. But lately, in the last year or so, there's just lots of dog walkers. Probably came across four people already. And I don't have him on the leash because I don't come out here to be leashing my dog in the woods. But I hasn't been a problem yet, but man. Way more busy than it used to be. So looking forward to the property and living out in the countryside. I'm not gonna have people uh, on the trail all the time. Obviously not on the property. So, that'll fix the leashing problem. <laughs>